Guess who's back? Hey, hey, hey. Prissy's back. My people, my people. For those of you who have been asking, where have I been? I've been to London to see what? To see the Queen. So get ready. Get your popcorn. Get your drinks ready. Get ready to watch this vlog of your life. Vlogs of all vlogs. Okay, London She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Look at me and these queens. Hi, Naomi. There must be something that feeds her. You'll find the beauty goes. Once you get to meet her, you see a woman. I've got my dad's sandals. Hey! Of a superstar, she smells so good in here. Those Gucci lights, yeah, yeah. I wonder where she hides. I'm not so back with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Butter, the sun is glorious. She wakes up. I'm hungry. Hey guys just hopping on here to give a quick update it's a sunday and i am currently taking all the clothes that i have decluttered to the charity bin to drop that off and then i'm heading off to the store to do a bit of shopping i saw something on marks and spencer online that i'm interested in so i'm going into marks and spencer i'll probably get myself a salad as well drowning by yourself now you want to blame me Options. I Anyways, let's head off. Let me start this car. It's warm. It's hot in England. Can you see that disrespectful pimple just there? Can you just see it? I'm not even going to pay it any attention. I'm not even going to touch it. came here to get unfortunately is now out of stock it's not available anymore i have tried on this orange dress but it will be an impulse buy if i purchase it it's nice but i know my mom would be like it looks rumpled and i'm not going to iron so yeah, i guess i'm not going to purchase it i'm off to get myself a salad and i'll see you guys when i see you everyone gets hurt that's how we learn about There are so many varieties of apples at Max and Spencer. I mean, red delicious apples, smitten apple, envy apples, and we had Braybon apples, but I had to go with my royal gala. <laughs> Please remember us to register your vehicle. She you know that I want to be good for you. She know that I want to be good for you, I do. But sometimes someone was bad for me. Sometimes someone was bad, or can't you see? I'm just being weak. I think you know that I care for you. I 
make you know that I care for you, I do, but sometimes I can't. <laughs> I'm just about heading to the hairdresser's house. I'm on my lunch break, but I just have to rush there. And then I'll connect to her internet and do my work from there. So I've got my laptop bag with me, <laughs> ready to go. I can't do this. I know myself. I'm too shy to be doing this. That is nice. I'll ask you to send me your name. I will send it. you. Don't worry. I'll send you my YouTube channel. Who that girl? Who that? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. My hair took exactly three hours because we started at about 1.30 and it's about 4.30. So, yeah. That's it. And I'm about to head home. You don't like this New hair! Who that? Like, sorry, please. Like, <laughs> who? Who? Who's that girl? Praise is that girl. When I say who's that girl, you guys should be like, Praise is that girl. Na, 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 na. This hair cost me 30 pounds. That's very affordable for England. 30 pounds. 30 pounds is like 18k, I think, in Naira, and maybe like $40. Very affordable. My hairdresser, I love her. I stick to her. When I get home, I'll lay my edges properly. She just put gel, but I'm going to like, you know, put some semicircles on the hair, you know? But this is what we're working with, and I love it. Oh, Jesus, this sun. Okay, that's better. Morning, guys. So I have just about made it to the gym. Like, Lord knows, I didn't feel like coming to the gym this morning. But I'm learning how to do things that i don't feel like doing but are right you know i think it's called discipline um it's currently about 7 10 a.m in the morning i should have been here an hour earlier but it's fine the main thing is i'm here today i am going to london for work so that's why because i'm so i'm sure some people are like it's 7 10 and you're not already getting ready to go to work chill I'm not working in the office today i'm heading to london so my train is going to be at about 10 o'clock i'm just going for work we've got some we've got an auction a property auction so that should be interesting i have not been to london in a very long time like yeah it's been a while since i last went to london Ugh, it's going to be busy on the train and probably on the underground but i'll try and carry you guys along the sun is glorious can you see that <laughs> butter butter <laughs> have you guys heard that sound effect on tiktok like look at that can you, can see, you that? see that butter butter, butter. <laughs> okay i need to go i'm playing too much let's head into the gym i'll see you guys later Oh, 
what is trouble in your mind? London. I haven't seen this many people in a very long time in one city. I need to find my way to where I will be having my meeting but in the meantime I think I'm just going to pop over to H&M and Topshop because I've arrived early. My meeting is not until 12 30 and I'm it's currently 11 30 so I think I have about an hour to sort of just walk around and see what's happening. So I am just on my way to Chanel. I have finished from my work meeting. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but apologies. I'm on the road. I'm just heading to Chanel. You can see Dior. I think I'm on the right track. <laughs> Priscilla here trying to navigate the streets of London. We can do this, guys. And it appears there is a queue outside Chanel. this queen hi Naomi it's been I'm tired I've barely done any window shopping but I think I'll be fine with my dad's saddles I'm currently just heading <laughs> to that guy's clearing his throat for me I don't care currently heading to the underground to start my journey back home are you, are you okay I was randomly telling my best friend this evening, I was like, oh, I want to take myself out for dinner, but I don't know. I guess what? She sent me money. She sent me money, so now I don't have any excuse. And I'm here to treat myself and enjoy myself. And this one I'm wearing, I'll show you guys the full outfit. Look at my shoes. It's like I knew that I was a content creator. It literally gave me the seat with a very good lighting. Yeah, hi. Yes, yes, you did. Yeah. It's not my fault. You've been lying, saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you 
You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always actually believe that I'm back on YouTube officially everyone needs a good break once in a while and I just it started off as a okay all right let me let me let me let me explain myself because you guys deserve some explanation it started off as me just being tired and then I'm like you know what even if it was my day job like I would have taken a break and I just realized that since I started YouTube I have not taken a break like I have literally posted videos thrice every week since I started YouTube sometimes even more so a two weeks break well deserved I couldn't believe it like last weekend I was just sitting on my couch watching TV no editing no filming like I literally did not do any filming or any editing at all and the thing is I actually had some videos to post for you guys but I was like you know what, I'm on a break, I'm on a break. Even if I had pre-filmed videos, I'm not posting anything, I'm just taking a break. So don't worry guys, I'm fine. I've been busy in my real life. I've had some exciting things happen for me, exciting news happen in my real life, which I'm so thankful to God for. It's going to take a bit of getting used to, to get back into my routine. Bear with me. <laughs> Bear with me if I am a bit scratchy in a few of my next videos. I just need to get back into it. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who checked up on me. Like, I really, really, really do appreciate. I felt so loved. I like, I actually felt so loved. I had a few of my YouTube friends on here check up on me and I'm back, guys. Yes, I'm back. I told you guys I'll be back and of course, I'm back. So thank you so much for checking up on me and thank you so much for being patient. I'm being back here. I'm back and you guys are back and I really do appreciate that. Anyways, I hope you guys have been enjoying the vlog. I thought I would, my first video back should be a vlog to kind of take you behind the scenes to show you a bit of what's been happening. Also to show you my latest purchase, guys. <laughs> I did damage. I went to London and what? I did some damage to my bank account, but I'm so happy to have brought this baby back home guess what it is i did actually put up a poll on my instagram and i told you guys to guess if i got a bag or a shoe and i'll probably post the results on the screen i think most people thought i got a bag but actually i had had my eyes on these shoes for like two years now and i didn't know if i wanted them or if i didn't want them can you tell i'm talking i'm multitasking talking and unboxing for you guys but yeah, no, I've had my eyes on this pair of shoes. I didn't know if they were my style. Um, initially, I wanted to get like a dupe or like an alternative version from the high street store. But knowing myself, if it's not, if I'm not doing the most, I'm not doing at all. Like there's no middle ground with me. Is it that I'm doing or I'm not doing? And that was why I decided to purchase myself the Rolls Royce of Dad Sandals aka chanel dad sandals like ah! if you're on my channel you know i scroll like this sometimes anywho let me just take it out let me take it out okay let me take it out now you know that there are some things you want in life okay and how do i explain this i feel like everybody has high tastes what the, the the issue or the challenge is usually limited resources so sometimes when i find myself saying i'll never spend money on that i could never do that i could never spend money i'm like priscilla is it that you could not spend is it that you will not spend money or you don't have money two entire 
entirely different thing so do not judge people for how they choose to spend their money just work hard to have your own money and then spend it how you desire two years ago i would have been judging people side eyeing people that bought these sandals because they are expensive and you know to an extent you could argue and say they are overpriced but here i am in 2022 with the dad sandals in my hand and if anybody speaks to me about this i will justify it and i'll be like yes it's a worthy purchase it's only as worthy as it is to you i've got my dad sandals hey, 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 hey. i am so excited in usual priscilla fashion and style i'm going to be doing a whole video where i talk about the sandals and i'll do a whole review for you guys but in the meantime i'll post a clip of what it looks like Will always remind me of my trip to london for sure um because i haven't been to london in a while like i got into london i was like hmm okay hmm, but I, I could i don't think i could live in london well i don't know never say never i very recently i've also been doing a lot of well not a lot i've done some shopping recently because i don't know if it's just me but maybe because we were still kind of in lockdown last year i found that i don't have many summer clothes like I don't yeah i don't have a lot of clothes that i can wear out on that note i have done a bit of damage as well shopping for clothes i'm just going to show you a bit i bought this outfit from zara and it's a cord i'm not going to try it out guys i'm tired maybe i'll do another video where i'll do a try on but not in this video i am tired but this is a two-piece and it is beautiful all i would say is that it runs a bit small i also got this from Marks and Spencer and it's a two piece as well with this skirt it is beautiful as well I love the print on it let me show you guys can you see the print beautiful oh I didn't mention the prices the Marks and Spencer top is 10, 35 pounds I also got the skirt but I'm, I have to go pick it up I actually just got a text that it's, it's arrived um, for the Zara piece oh, the pants are 32 pounds the pants are 32 pounds and the top is 32 pounds as well i also got this whistle dress from selfridges look at that so cute so so cute for work this is 169 pounds a bit on the high side and you guys would have seen me wear this on the vlog Oh my god it smells so good i think i wore versace crystal noir the day i wore this outfit and oh it's still smelling on it it's all over it this is you guys will have seen me wear this this is from whistles as well the green dress is 159 pounds i also got this black and white dress let me try and get it for you guys i'll be back so i got this black and white print dress as well for work and this one cost uh 109 pounds i think it was I've already worn it so that is why <laughs> the label is off this one was 109 pounds um but yeah and oh i forgot this one as well <sighs> god this place is literally if you see where i'm is a mess my bed and then i got this two piece as well so this is pants the pants are in there and the top this is from french connection and i think the two piece both of them came to about 90 pounds i think i'm set for summer i will try my best not to purchase anything anymore that's what i'm telling myself right now because i have done bulk shopping for summer right now i cannot say i do not have summer clothes because i do i hope everyone is well i hope you're all doing well go ahead and let me know how you are in the comment section it's honestly i wish i could give you a hug coming for a hug coming for a hug <laughs> ooh, 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 virtual hugs until i see you again in my next video because i look forward to seeing you again in my next video stay beautiful stay blessed hi and bye have a good one bye